Well, uh, since it happened and uh, since Chibnall, uh, said, he, instead of letting the story tell itself, <laughs> he went ahead and said, no, there's no trick here. There's no alternative universe. Joe Martin is the doctor. And so, but that doesn't really answer the question. So here at Doctor Who TV, uh, they're having the same discussion anybody else would who, uh, you know, however many people are left to even care at this point. Uh, but yeah, history retcon? Just who is Joe Martin's doctor? Five theories. Um, yeah, history retconned. That's, that's, that's the only way to go about it. Had she just been a future doctor, everything would pretty much be fine. He'd still had the crappy stories in this writing team, but what the hell? And, and as I said in the previous video I did about this whole thing when Chibnall, it, 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 you know, said it's official and all that, I said a better thing would have been this cool idea of introducing a doctor really early before the regeneration even happens. It could still happen, you know, you could go in and say that, oh, she just thinks she's the first, but or before Jody or what have you. Um and something happened in between and so she's got some some and she's the one with memory loss and not 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 Jody's doctor. And I'm telling you, that's the thing you need to do. It really is. <laughs> anyway, here we are had this uh feature in Doctor Who TV by Craig Sightings. Have you seen Craig late lately? Then you have had a Craig sighting. Ah, oh, man, what a pseudonym. Unless, of course, it's your real name, and then I apologize. Well done, Chibnall. Eh, I don't agree with that. After giving us almost nothing to chew on, yeah, well, I do agree with that. <laughs> uh, I haven't stopped thinking about the fugitive to Dune and the revelation that Ruth is actually another doctor. My brain has been going into overdrive mode like in the good old Moffat days. Yeah, Moffat would do that, and then you ended up realizing it was just a tease. So anyway, here's some five theories uh, about what the what this seems to present. And boy, I tell you, uh, Joe Martin's uh, control room is just fantastic. I mean, it, why couldn't you have done that for Jody's dog? That piece of crap she's stuck with where you got to keep the lights off so you can't see how bad it really is. And yet, look at this. Oh, man. Oh, that's great. Oh, boy. Anyway, oh, she's supposed to be a forgotten pre heart nail cycle. Now, I, I cannot stand this. I don't care who that was. I don't care uh, if it was some dude, if it was Chris Marshall or whatever. It's still a dumb idea. No, I'm done with this. I never really liked the War Doctor whole thing. But, oh boy, what are you going to do? And now this? No. But uh, it's probably the most likely, depending on how they presented it. So anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get to the most contentious one way out first. <laughs> Ruth claims that 13 is in her future, not the other way around. She doesn't have the Sonic, and her TARDIS interior resembles a much earlier design, which is why it's better. Therefore, suggesting Ruth comes way, way before Jodie Whittaker's incarnation. 13 says that can't be the case, as she knows her past and doesn't remember Ruth's incarnation. Fans know it, too. Yeah, let's take a look. There they all are. <laughs> There's no Ruth in there. We all know the established order of the Doctor, and evidence suggests uh, it's unchangeable at this point. Yeah, well, it's supposed to be, but yeah, when you have someone who doesn't care, then it's, then it can be changed. We've seen the regenerations. We saw all doctors gloriously assembled in the 50th anniversary. Clara visited the doctor as a young boy and also went into the doctor's time stream, uh, stream, helping all past incarnations. The TARDIS was not a police box yet, and this is very telling. When Hartnell first stole it, so how can Ruth's be? Yeah. Yeah, the only way for that is, like I suspected, some dumb thing that, oh, Hartnell was subconsciously influenced by his previous incarnation, who had a police box for whatever reason, and there you go. Now, of course, Deadly Assassins established the 12 regenerations in the cycle. Uh, Matt Smith revealed that he was, in fact, the final one because, well, War Doctor and Tenet's Metacrisis regenerations. And, but then the Time Lord showed up at the last second and gave him a new cycle, and so he was able to regenerate into Capaldi, and there you go. But uh, there just doesn't seem to be a way that Ruth could be uh, inserted in here. Is it possible 
uh, that the doctor has somehow forgotten a whole cycle of lies before Hartnell. Well, I guess I, I and that's some severe amnesia, but there are obviously still several inconsistencies. This would great as well as well as the fact that it would mean Hartnell would no longer be the original. Yeah, that that's not going to sit well. Uh, it would mean the numbering is all screwed up. And it's, of course, John Hurt's War Doctor does that somewhat, but it's not nearly as damaging as this because, you know, the it, the in between this two series, you had the original, which ended in 89, and then you start again in 2005, with, with the exception of the, uh, you know, the Peter Paul McGann movie in 96. But then, oh boy, there's a whole lot of wiggle room there. What could have happened? I mean, obviously, they should have gone with Paul McGann as the war doctor, but I just, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. So let's do it again. <laughs> stupid here is the better one this is what i would go with was that perhaps jody Whitaker has been telling a few white lies well yeah this that's not what i meant exactly but <laughs> that she's not really coming back for series 13 um what if she's actually leaving at the end and already filmed special this is a sneaky little way of introducing her replacement early after all we did get a glimpse of peter capaldi in the fifth anniversary yeah pretty brief but uh, but Ruth uh, was just incorrectly theorizing that 13 was from her future and that Ruth had somehow her memories, had lost her memories of her past self, having been Jody and all that. So, yeah, uh, you, you could introduce the story that leads up to this to where something happens that does kind of joggle her memory. And through the her few uh, first stories, you get them back and she realizes, oh, man, that's yeah, that really did happen and all that. And there you go. Or, even better, <laughs> Chibnall lies, an alternate timeline parallel doctor. I know Chibnall has claimed Ruth is not from a parallel universe, but I also remember when Stephen Moffat uh, used to say things like that when he wanted to preserve secrecy. <laughs> they, lie all the they learned that from J.J. Abrams. Could Ruth be the first doctor, but from an alternate universe or perhaps timeline? This doesn't mess with canon in any way. Yeah, it wouldn't. Uh, that would risk upsetting the show's history and fan base. Doctor Who has also experimented on both alternate universes and timelines in the past, so it's certainly within the rules of the show. Some have even speculated that Jodie has been in a parallel universe since the very... I haven't heard of this one. Uh, since the start of her era, and that she fell out of the tar... Yeah, there you go. The, the, the series uh, 11... I mean, uh, yeah, 11 just never happened. <laughs> It's some other universe, and she's going to wake up and we'll start from scratch. You still get Jody, though, but yeah. Ruth the Ronnie, I don't think so. I just don't think they would do this, uh, especially after praising themselves because all they wanted was the headline, First Black Doctor. Uh, yeah, just exploited her skin and genitals. Uh, but Ruth the uh, Ronnie, ah, this old favorite. Every since the show returned, fans have speculated on this renegade Time Lord returning. Whenever a mysterious character crops up, True to farm, I've already seen theories that regardless of what Chibnall says, it's all a trick. Well, in a way it is, but it's just a political trick. Uh, and that Ruth is, in fact, the Ronnie, exiled to Earth and having a bit of fun messing with the, the Thirteen, but posing as the Doctor, perhaps allied with the Master. It doesn't explain the identical uh, sonic scan, but it could be another fake reading. The R necklace being another hidden clue the plain sight rather than just standing for Ruth. Ruth has definitely been portrayed so far as a more aggressive character and certainly seems to like guns more than the Yeah, that's another thing. I switched to why for a second there. I thought she might be revealed to be River Song. But uh, yeah, the, the guns thing and all that's just so Jody. That is a bit odd. I mean, your first black uh, Doctor Who and you make her violent. <laughs> Way to go, Chibs. Um, and, of course, the Timeless Child. Uh, my guess is that they're going to reveal that, yes, Ruth is the Timeless Child of some sort, or she had a Timeless Child. <laughs> and that'll turn out to be Susan, maybe. Uh, that might be something. Anyway, another mystery that needs addressing ever since Chibnall introduced it in the Ghost Monument, the Timeless Child was, of course, finally brought back. Yeah, <laughs> spy fell by none other than the Master. It seems likely it's all connected. So, yeah, it is, but how so? And was it connected well? I doubt it. But yeah, it's connected. In a brief flashback scene in the opening two-parter of the series 12, we caught a glimpse of a young girl. Could this actually be a much younger Ruth? Yeah, probably. This could uh, tie into the first theory that this is a new original cycle of the Doctor's forgotten for some reason. Only time will tell. Possibly they're going to rob the, uh, what you call it, the master plan deal where they had the, the Rassilon, uh, 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 um, Omega and the other, and that Ruth will be the other. And uh, she was a child at the time, I guess. I don't know. 
that's probably what they would do, just rip that off. And uh, even though the other was referred to as a male, wasn't it? But, you know, whatever, it wasn't really canon. So now we'll make it canon with this. God, that would just be awful. Uh, so uh, these are better. This is unlikely because he's already slapped it down pretty hard. Uh, just flat out saying, no, it's not. No, no. Future Doctor is better. And also uh, a, a thing I thought would be cool to introduce a Future Doctor uh, quite early. I didn't think it would be like this early. But when you already know that your current Doctor is in their last uh, season and go ahead and weave in a mysterious character. And it would have been a lot better if she was this mysterious character and you didn't quite catch on to who she was instead of doing it all in one episode. Um, but you know, whatever, it's just all of a sudden it's dropped on Jody and she's got to figure this out and slowly, but surely it's still a bit of a mystery and you could, but it, it just would work so much better if she's the future doctor than this nonsense. That's completely unnecessary. And I look, I got to admit, the more I think about it, uh, I didn't much care for her Ruth character. But when she actually becomes the doctor, she, she does a better job. <laughs> and she looks at Jody's outfit. and Yeah, it is crap, isn't it? <laughs> Which the doctors always do that to each other when they actually meet. Uh, they always think they're the best one. And that's within keeping within it. But it'd be much better if she was a future doctor and not this you know, regeneration cycle. We just didn't know about that's just so lazy. Leave it alone. You're going to have to get off your butt and make up your own stories and stop retreading stuff like that. And just, you know, well, I'm going to rewrite it to make it what I want it to be instead of dealing with what it is. It's lazy. So I'm pulling for you to be the future doctor, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that's all i can say it's the only thing that really works here but it's not gonna happen because it makes sense you know it, it can't work because it makes sense that's right we don't want that anyway there you go uh, i'll leave the link to this one at doctor who tv in the uh, description below thank you for watching and listening say why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below that'll take you to my mini stores that have plenty of goodies for you you know t-shirts hats mugs stickers posters all that good stuff and you can head over to indieplanet.com and pick up a copy of night night yes my comic book based on Night Night, yes, the audio plays that I present on this very channel. But now you can see him in action in the brilliant color within the pages of his own comic book. Yeah, check it out at Indie Planet. And you can catch my podcast, new episodes every Saturday, over at, uh, not BitChute, over at RadioMisfits.com. <laughs> Check that out, uh, The Mr. Nelson Show. And you can also watch my videos at, yes, BitChute, The Mr. Nelson Channel at BitChute.com.